So in the previous lesson, we looked at parallel lines and we said that parallel lines look like this and their gradients are the same. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at perpendicular lines. Now perpendicular lines, they look like this. They make a 90 degree angle. Let me show you again. See, so there's line one and line two. Here we have line one and line two. Okay, so they make 90 degrees with each other. So how do their gradients compare? Well, it's quite interesting. For perpendicular lines, if you multiply the gradient or the gradients of both lines, then the answer is minus one. That's like a special number that we are going to use. You must remember that. When you multiply the gradients, you will get minus one. So for example, if we've got these two lines over here, the gradient of the first one is 3 over 4. The gradient of the second one is negative 4 over 3. If you multiply those together, you end up with negative 1. So what it means is that these two lines are perpendicular. So if you had to draw them, they would look something like that, where they would cross each other at 90 degrees. So now we're going to practice. So are these lines perpendicular? Well, you have to get the gradient of the first line, so that's 2, and you need to get the gradient of the second line, that's 4. If you multiply them, that's 8. So they, these two lines are not perpendicular, only if you get minus 1. Are they parallel? No, because if parallel, the two gradients would have to be the same. So with these two, the gradient of the first one is 2 and the gradient of the second one is negative a half. If you multiply 2 with negative a half, you get negative 1. So yes, these lines are perpendicular. Okay, here's the next two lines. So remember, before we can make any comparison, you need to get the equations. We need to get y by itself. And so for the first one, if you want to get y by itself, we would need to take this 3x over to the right hand side. And so that would be 8 minus 3x. For the second equation, you would need to get this minus 4y alone. So let's take this 2x over. So that's going to give you minus 4y equals to negative 2x plus 3. Then we need to get y alone. So we divide everything by negative 4. And so that crosses out. And so we end up with y equals to, now negative 2 divided by negative 4. If you typed it on the calculator, that's a half x. 3 divided by negative 4 just becomes negative 3 over 4. So the gradient of the top line is minus 3, and the gradient of the second one is a half. If you multiply minus 3 with a half, you get minus 3 over 2, and so that is not parallel, and they are not perpendicular, I mean they're not perpendicular because it should have equaled minus 1, and they are also not parallel. So here's the next one. So step one is to always get the equation into standard form. So we can take this 3x over, so that'll be 2y equals to negative 3x plus 8. You then divide everything by 2, so that those cancel out, and so you end up with y equals to negative 3 over 2x plus 4. Next, oh, then at the bottom equation already is in standard form. And so now what we do is we take these two gradients, we multiply them, and if we do that, we get minus 1. And so because we get minus 1, we can say that they are perpendicular. So here's the next one. So you need to always get your equation into standard form. So we divide by 2 so that that cancels. And so we end up with y equals to 7 over 2x plus, and then 4 divided by 2 is 2. For the next one, we need to get y by itself. So we take this 2 over 7x to the other side, where that will become y equals to negative 2 over 7x plus 8. So the gradient of the top one is 7 over 2, and the gradient of the second one is negative 2 over 7. If you multiply those, you end up with negative 1. And so these lines are perpendicular. And so there we have it, guys. Parallel lines are when the gradients are the same. Perpendicular is when you multiply them and you get minus 1.